Welcome back. Since its founding in 1901, the Junior League has become one of the oldest and largest women's volunteer organizations in the world. And our local chapter here in Fresno is committed to the development of women, volunteerism, and community improvement. And for 41 years, the Junior League of Fresno has been honoring local high school athletes with the Senior Girl Athlete Award. So here now to talk about some of the accomplishments of these athletes and Junior League is president of the chapter, Savannah Ellison. So thanks for being here. And we have to say we have to say this every time. I am also a member of Junior League, and I'm the chair of the Senior Girl Athlete Awards. And so that's why when we do these conversations, it's, I just talk the whole time. So let's. Uh, I'll ask you, what are the Senior Girl Athlete Awards? Uh, so the Senior Girl Athlete Awards uh, started in 1981, uh, where we awarded a scholarship program to uh, local female athletes that excelled in athletics, academics, and community service. So we yeah. continue that tradition. I love it. I think it's a great uh, thing for, especially for Junior League. I mean, you think 41 years ago, I feel like you know, sports were kind of big for women, I guess, but probably not as big as they are now. So I think it's a big thing to have uh, an award just for lady athletes. Look, Chrissy Omaguchi, she was uh, at one of our one of our banquets for the Senior Girl Athlete Awards. So before uh, the pandemic, we used to do a big banquet and everybody would come and we would present their scholarship to all of the um, amazing young women who are also athletes. And then uh, in 2021, we decided, okay, we got to do something a little bit different and maybe a little bit bigger. And so that's why we do a special broadcast here, right here on KC24. <laughs> so we do a special broadcast. Uh, and then we also present each winner from all of the schools around uh, the Central Valley with a scholarship. So I think it's just a great, fun sort of way. I was talking to one of the... Um, one of the winners, and uh, I, when I was in high school, I was the Clovis Independent Athlete of the Year, and I still have the write-up of uh, the newspaper article. And so now, all of these ladies will have their little clip from our special broadcast. And so I just think it's a, a great way to sort of, you know, tell people about Junior League and tell people about mm. senior, senior girl athletes. And so outside of this particular program that we do, what else does the Junior League do? Uh, so our community uh, impact focus area is foster youth. So we're partnered with a few different um, foster youth agencies where we support and um, support them with their needs and provide uh, additional resources for them. Yeah, it's a, all the junior leagues, you know, across the world, across the country, they sort of have their area of focus. And I love this one. Um, I've always told you my mom was a special education teacher at Gateway. And so had a lot of uh, contact with kids who had gone through the system. And so, you know, if you try to think about yourself at 18 years old, I don't know what I was ready for, but it definitely wasn't ready to be on my own like some of these kids. So uh, Senior Girl Athlete is something that we do. And uh, we also help foster youth. And so you can tune into the broadcast of the Senior Girl Athlete awards that's on uh, May 11th and some of the girls um, are just pretty incredible we'll go through a couple of them uh, Amira Wynn she is a volleyball player at Edison she helped her team win first at the Madera South tournament she has a 4.32 GPA and she's taking AP bio AP lit AP stats all kinds of APs. She was accepted into Cornell and UC Davis and Fresno State, and she plans to attend UC Davis, uh, their school of veterinary medicine. And then Carissa Lopez, she's another winner this year. She's from Central. She's a four-year starter, uh, varsity starter for soccer. She was the rookie of the year of her freshman year, and she volunteers with the Special Olympics. She's got a sco soccer scholarship at Fresno Pacific, so she's doing great things. Look at that kick. All right, Mia Dilly, she's a volleyball player and soccer player at my alma mater, Clovis East. She plays uh, volleyball and soccer. She was ranked number one in the Valley in volleyball and seventh in the state as a libero. She has been on the honor roll all four years of high school, and she volunteers with the Animal Compassion Team at school. So, um... All of this would not be possible without all of our generous sponsors because we, uh, we've got to give them scholarships and we've also got to pay for the broadcast. So if you're interested and you want to help us out and you know maybe you want to sponsor a specific school or you want to sponsor a specific segment, we are more than willing to talk to you about sponsor opportunities. Uh, you can email sga at jlfresno.org. 
I always get the, the address wrong. Is it JL Fresno or JLF.org? JL Fresno. J, J, so that's uh, my bad. <laughs> JL Fresno.org. Also, if you're watching this and you know you're a woman who would like to give back to the community, you know, what is it like as a young woman, as a professional woman in Junior League? I mean, it's wonderful. I've been a part of the Junior League um, for eight years. It's an international organization. So the networking opportunities, the opportunities to also move somewhere else. I started yeah. with the Junior League of Monterey County, and now I'm with the Junior League of Fresno. Um, we focus on volunteerism, but also the development and the leadership um, of women. And it's a wonderful organization and a a lot of opportunities to give back to the community as well as to connect with like-minded women. Yeah, I think it's a great opportunity. I think after college, uh, any professional young woman would tell you it's kind of hard to meet people, kind of <laughs> hard to meet friends, kind of hard to connect, but this is a great way to do it. So we will have all the information if you're interested in um, sponsoring the Senior Girl Athlete Awards or if you'd like to learn more information about the Junior League of Fresno, we'll have all the information on our website as well. Savannah, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. The Senior Girl Athlete Award special broadcast will air right here on KC24 on May 11th at 7 p.m. If you'd like to sponsor an athlete or help us continue to honor senior girl athletes from right here in the Valley for another 41 years, you can email sga at jlfresno.org.